Beautiful day in Murray, and this is a great place to take the dog out for a walk in the dog park. All kinds of different shapes and sizes and faces, and how about that three-legged? The weather, and yes, there was sunshine, a gorgeous day. Hope you got out and enjoyed it. Some other pictures that were taken over the holiday weekend. This is St. George. Take a look at the fog on the ground in the morning. Adam Larrabee shows us this picture. Now a different angle right there looking downtown towards the temple. You can see the fog early this morning in Salt Lake City. Keith Finlayson, this beautiful picture, a little fog in the valley there. And up on the hillside, David Frogley looking down towards the Olympus Cove from on top of the Wasatch Mountains. Again, you can see a little bit of the haze in the valley. Inversions do remain but they have been broken up considerably. It's not nearly as cold as it was. And any cloud cover tonight will help to insulate the valleys and keep the fog and the inversion from strengthening more than it is right now. Still, plenty of inversion weather across eastern Utah. Very deep inversion in Vernal, Uinta Basin, also around Green River and Moab and Canyonlands. Plenty of clouds though moving in as you can see and mild weather in most areas. Very little in the way of precipitation. We do find a few showers across western Montana, northern Idaho and the western parts of Oregon and Washington. The new computer charts are indicative of a lot of cloud cover coming in over the next several days, but I doubt we're going to see significant precipitation as this storm that moved through was essentially a dud did not produce much in the way of snow except for along the Idaho border. You can see the computer ch charts are indicating just some brush by weather systems with a slightly stronger storm that will move by Monday night, Tuesday into Wednesday. Here's your forecast then for tomorrow. Another cold one in the basin, zero to nine below, five degrees in price, below zero Green River. It's been that way for quite a while. Deep snow cover, uh, keeping the cold temperatures right there in the mouth of Gray Canyon. Green River, very, very cold. 15 in Kanab up to 44, then 50 in St. George, 26 and zero Manti. Here's where the warm weather will be. Great place to do a little golfing over the next several days with plenty of 50s. We do so show some very light precipitation possible over the mountains of northern Utah. Temperatures will stay reasonably mild in comparison to where they were. Overnight low near 20 tonight, 34 tomorrow. There will be a little bit of black ice out there from the melting today. Mid 30s the next several days and then another cold front Thursday. And that is going to bring again another shot of Canadian cold. 20s for highs. It's getting colder, yeah. It's okay. been a cold, yes. cold winter so far. So far. Thanks, Dan.